In this video, I'm going to show you that how we're going to add different scripts that are required in order to run a theme. Well, and uh, you can see that I've highlighted the few of the scripts I have added in here after the style.css file in here. And these are also enclosed in the output tag. The first one is actually the option underscore selection dot gs. And uh, this is actually uh, taken from the URL that is the specifying uh, specified Shopify underscore asset underscore URL which means that this is not placed inside this assets folder but this is placed inside the default Shopify assets folder and from where we have placed that and it is available to each and every person who is using Shopify and its dashboard and uh, furtherly it is actually providing the relationship there what kind of relationship it is then it is describing that this is actually a script tag and after that uh, we have the Shopify common.js customer area.js and as well as a link to the jQuery framework the option underscore selection dot js contains JavaScript code which is used for product dot liquid template and Shopify underscore common dot js plus customer underscore area dot js contains JavaScript code which is used for customer accounts template and this is actually a basic framework which is used by most of the websites and themes in order to run it so if we, you were going to use it inside the normal HTML you would have used like script source and you could have to provide the path and then type it will be like uh, something JavaScript slash uh, text so if you would have provided it in a normal HTML way then it would have been be like this by closing and uh, opening tag but uh, inside Shopify theme.liquid file we gonna have to use this kind of scenario just over the top